today I'm joining in with my awesome friends, Daughters of Destiny. Yes, they are a great group. If you don't know who they are, Shani on the Spot, Style with Gigi Fashion, and of course, Lady Cinnamon. All awesome, awesome channels. And if you love home decor, you can't miss this one. And best of all, it's a garden tea party. You all know how much I love my garden and love to be out in it. So let's see what Grandma can do today for this garden tea party. Please don't forget to check out the playlist. Give lots of support to all that have joined in on this wonderful, wonderful challenge. They are so wonderful. I, I can't even tell you the beautiful displays they put together. So go over and check it out, guys. If you want to see something to inspire you, this is the group that will. And they have done an awesome job. Now let's go see what Grandma did and then you go check out that playlist and check out these awesome girls. I shouldn't say girls. I should say awesome creators of Daughters of Destiny. This is my second Mother's Day tablescape I'm putting up for today. Two different challenges and this is my second one. I wanted to share my beautiful chandelier and my flowers with you. This is supposed to be a garden tea party for Mother's Day and it's in my garden as you can tell. This stuff is all under my tree over in my side yard where my fairy gardens usually are. And some of the items on this tablescape will be brand new. I've never shared them before and never used them before. And some of them I've had for quite some time. The flowers uh, definitely are not new. I have used them in multiple posts and had them for quite some time. Now down here, the vase that they're in is brand new. I just bought it. And I had gotten some things at Annalise a while back. I have had them quite a while, but I've never shared them with you. And if none of you have ever heard it from us, we love Annalie, and she does beautiful, beautiful decor items. These are one of a kind. She makes herself. So when you go buy something from her, it's one of a kind. You're never going to get two that are exactly the same. Now, these are also, were bought from Annalie also, and I have had them probably about five or six months. But for whatever reason, I think I forgot I bought them and have never shared them. And because I love pastel colors and garden themes, I'm probably going to be doing a lot more with these in this coming month. Because look at how beautiful and detailed work her job is. Everything's so beautiful. And the birds, the bird nest, the flowers, the roses, everything so beautifully put together by her. And look how they just wander around the shape. Love it. The tray I've had for some time. Now the tea set is new. I just bought it to go and I bought the plates to go with it and the t cups and saucers also. I wanted to have something really high end and glam. And because I don't have very much of that, I went ahead and bought the whole set. Now I only do tablescapes for two, so I only bought a table set for two. Only two plates, two saucers, two of everything but I did buy everything they had. And I thought they were really, really pretty. What do you think? Let me know what was your favorite thing that I purchased out of the new things that I shared today. The glassware I've had for quite some time too, probably 20, 30 years, so it's not new. But look at all the beautiful, beautiful detail work on these cups. Are they not beautiful? Look at it. And the plates match perfectly with it for the same theme. I just love it and I think it looks so beautiful. And I got the napkins at a second hand store. And they match perfectly too with my gold theme today. And the beautiful lace work you see on the table also was from Annalise. And I don't think I've ever shared that. I probably bought that probably a, uh, at least six months ago, maybe even a year. I don't know. I have so much inventory. That's why I'm not too concerned about not buying too much because I have so much. But I did want to get a few high-end things because I really don't have a lot of high-end pieces. 
most of mine are a lot of garden themes and nothing don't get me wrong I love garden themes but I know you have to have a little more than just garden themes when you're having to join in with a lot of other creators so I wanted you to see I was going to try to pick up maybe one more high-end thing before the end of May because after May it's going to be really hard for me to buy too much of anything I'll probably just buy one or two things a month and that's going to be it I'm going to put myself on a really strict budget for everything and we're going to be doing mostly free post and I think we can do it I've been um, on YouTube for seven years I have a garage full of stuff I have a house full of stuff and my daughter joined my channel about a year and a half ago and she's got tons of stuff so what I don't have I can borrow from her and what she doesn't have she can borrow from me but I do like garden themes so you're going to see a lot of garden themes this summer and that's why I have spent so much money in the last two to three months because I knew I was going to stop working and um, I knew I wanted to get as many beautiful things that I can reuse and repurpose for years to come. Now this here, um, I've had everything here for quite some time. This I bought from Annalie but it's been on previous posts. Like I said, anything really high-end looking on my table, so if I buy it at Home Goods, it's from Annalie. Because she has so many beautiful things. And I just, uh, the tray, the tear tray it's on, I've had this tear tray, I don't know, 20, 30 years. A lot of my stuff I've had a long time, but I take good care of it. That's why it looks so good still. People are amazed how old some of my stuff is. And like I tell my daughter, if it's good quality, it shouldn't be a problem if it's 10 or 20 years old. And most of the stuff I buy at Annalise are all used items, and I have no idea how long she's had them. Now, I do buy a lot of things she makes, and of course that would be brand new. And these little miniature flower arrangements, these she made also, and they look really, really good with my little birds in the, in the nest. And here's another one. But like I said, these are all one of a kind. She makes them herself. And none of them are exactly the same because they're one of a kind. And I think that's important too, to try to have as many beautiful, one of a kind things that you can find that you really love. Because it makes your stuff look a little more different and a little more unique, not like everybody. Now this tea set, I'm sure a lot of people have bought this tea set, but I did love it and it was very pretty and I wanted to get something with gold and white. So let me know what you thought was the nicest thing that I bought lately or what was your favorite because some of these things are still my favorite. But most of this tablescape is almost full of brand new stuff. We don't have too much in here that I would say is um, I've had very long. Uh, the glassware is not new. The flowers are not new. The tray isn't new. Neither tray is new. I've had both the trays for quite some time and the flowers are not new. But everything else I well see the placemats I, I just bought but they have been in several posts but most everything else is brand new on here or I have gotten recently but I was very happy with all the beautiful gold and white pieces that I bought let me know what you thought of it you think I went too crazy this month or you thought it was a good investment too hugs and kisses to all of you if you're not already following me please think about it Good morning to all of you. Please, please, please. If you're not already following after you watch this video, please think about joining the channel and please give me a thumbs up and really please try to watch at least half of the video, please. We did have a lot of new things in this video that I just purchased. I would hate to see that you missed what I bought. Thank you so much, my dear friends. Let's finish watching the video now.